But being prepared and knowing what to do in an emergency can make all the difference. And all throughout September, safety advocates have been encouraging Americans to create a plan as part of the National Preparedness Month. And this morning, we are doing the same. Tracy Hawkins, better known as Tracy, Tracy the Safety Lady, uh, she joins us uh, with ways to be sure that we have a safe home, a secure home, and a plan whenever this uh, when unexpected emergency arises. Right. Good to see you again, Tracy. Thanks, Thanks for coming back with here. us. And the first thing that we're going to talk about um, with a safety plan, and that is you got to figure out what you have, right? Exactly, and you can't wait until after the fact to try to recreate it. So that's why it's so important to do a home inventory. Um, there are a couple of companies that do really good jobs of helping you do that. Uh, Binary Formations has pre, um, prepared a kit, a home inventory kit, and it walks you through every step, and this works for all Apple products. Uh, there's also a company called CB Data, and it does a life inventory. So you get a chance to do anything in your life that's important. You need to document it, know what you have in advance, and that includes taking pictures of every single thing in your house, each wall, each room, instead of trying to think what did I have and what was it valued, this walks you through the process. Can you, can you give us just a quick example of things that we would want to record and make sure we have? I mean, obviously, things of value with great monetary value, mm -hmm. but what about other things? Are there everything. Everything. Every, everything. Um, the CB Data Kit walks you through taking a picture of every single wall in your house, everything in your house, and then it walks you through the process of actually documenting the value of those items, serial numbers if you have them, anything of value. You need to document what's in your wallet as well. In case of an emergency, you may leave the house without your wallet. You need to know everything that you own. Okay, we got some work to do then. Mm -hmm. uh, assemble survival kits as okay. well, and to go and to go kits and a go uh, kit and a go kit. Imagine you if you got a warning that there is an emergency, what would you grab? So instead of waiting until the last minute, thinking, "Oh my God, what do I grab?" You need to have a go kit already prepared. Now the kit's going to also include medication, anything of value, contact lens, contact solutions, um, anything of value that you wouldn't normally have time to try to think in a crisis situation. Have it ready to walk out of the door. And I like these little clear handbags because that allows you to see what you have in there at all times. Okay, and that's different from a survival kit. A survival kit is what you need to survive. If the electricity, if the power is off and you're waiting for help to arrive, a survival kit is something that you need to assemble. Again, another clear handbag. And in your survival kit, um, a, a variety of supplies, first aid kits, uh, bottled water. And people don't know that Staples is a great source for getting all of these things at one place. You can get these emergency light kits, which do not require, they're like glow lights, but they don't require any kind of electricity or batteries. You need to be prepared and again, have it somewhere ready where you can actually get out. Okay. And uh, looking ahead, you need to stock up on some items, right? Mm -hmm. Like for survival gear, what do you have for exactly. us in here? A lot of people don't think about securing your yard furniture, your lawn furniture, things along that line. Loop Rope makes this great bungee cord, and it's better than a bungee cord. And I kept thinking, what does this have to do with anything? When you yeah. see pictures after a disaster, things are blown all over the place. Secure your items and make sure you do it in a way that is going to be safe for you on the ground as well. Didn't even think about something like that. Exactly. Are the walkie-talkies a part of the survival kit as well? A lot of times cell phone towers are down. Remember in Joplin, people yeah. can communicate. A Motorola makes a great walkie-talkie, a two-way radio that goes anywhere from uh, six miles to 16 miles. So you can communicate with friends and family, let your neighbors, anyone know that you're okay or if you need help or what your status is. And finally, maybe the most important item on our, on our rundown list here, and that is we've got to practice a family safety plan, right? You must have a plan. And that includes if you have an alarm system, a live watch, makes a, a standalone system simple safe makes one as well make sure everyone knows how to operate the system uh, have a weather radio uh, Midland makes one you can buy those at Radio Shack as well as Staples but everyone needs to know where to go in an emergency situation there needs to be a contact person who is going to check off the list who is there there needs to be someone off-site a relative friend or neighbor who you can check in with and that if your family and friend are concerned they can go to that one person and that one person knows where everyone is and they know if everyone's okay Great stuff. Tracy Hawkins from Safety and Security Source. Tracy, the safety lady, is back with us. Good to see you. Thanks for your help. Thank you, Nick. We'll send it over to Kim. Thanks, guys. It never fails.